concerns that we found that they raised was a lack of understanding between themselves, um, the parents, and youth as to what exactly is confirmation supposed to be. A lot of ministers have lofty ideals um, that they've learned uh, and come up with among their peers or from seminary about how confirmation is a process uh, that youth go through that integrates them into the community, um, into the congregational community, and also one that intensifies their faith. Um, unfortunately for um, youth, sometimes what it means is I get an iPad in the spring. Or for parents, it means, oh, whew, I've done my part. I can wash my hands. I don't have to do anything uh, to encourage the faith of my youth anymore. So um, that was one common mis one thing that we heard a lot from ministers. Um, we heard uh, some other things as well, such as... Um, mentors play a really important role and the faith of parents also plays an important role. Similarly to the misunderstandings, I suppose, is if there are adults who are involved in a youth's life, um, there's an overall general, uh, I guess, success isn't the right word, but it feels like they've accomplished what they're trying to. They're able to get closer to what their hopes are for confirmation um, when youth ministers or um, Christian educators are working with parents or a mentor to encourage the faith of youth. Um, uh, we've also heard a general dissatisfaction about um, confirmation curriculum that's available. So one of the things our study is hoping to do is to find innovative, um, sometimes innovative people doing traditional things or people who are doing ministry in a way that addresses um, really important issues, maybe um, the environment or economic justice or um, immigration. So um, a lot of confirmation programs are really interested in um, doing more than just helping people know creeds and doctrines, but integrating um, what does it mean to be a Christian into their daily life. So part of our study is to look for those innovative places and practices and share the um, curriculum, both maybe a written curriculum, but also maybe informal curriculums or just sort of ways that people are doing confirmation ministry that is um, meaningful and um, uh, encouraging faith among young people. Um.